My name is Brent Askvig, and I'm the Executive Director of the North Dakota Center for Persons with Disabilities. I've been with the Center for all 25 years of its history. I began in 1990 as a staff and faculty member, and in 2008 I was given the opportunity to be the Executive Director of the Center. I thought, okay, great, I've got this opportunity, I get to be a leader. But I knew that I had to do something different. It was that time that one of my passions in life kind of came out. I asked my family to purchase a Bob Ross oil painting kit. I always loved painting. I loved art. I didn't completely understand it. I tried to apply left brain techniques to understand something that was more right brained. My family thought I had lost it a little bit. And it really informed me in being a leader because I couldn't keep using the old skills and techniques that I had. I had to learn something new. The big impact of that is that I think my leadership skills have improved. And the other thing that Bob Ross teaches you is that making mistakes are okay. They're happy little accidents. And so I've tried to use that in my leadership because what comes out of that is clearly gonna be better than if you just followed the old rules you might not get in the course of our center. A new project, a new way of serving people with disabilities, a new idea. In 1990, Planet State University had just received a new grant that established the North Dakota Center for Persons with Disabilities, a new project that we knew nothing about. It was a program to look at services and supports and research and information dissemination for people with disabilities across the entire state of North Dakota. I was asked to be part of that. Through that period, I was becoming a new faculty member and teaching people to go out and work in the field, and at the same time, working on these new programs and, and activities in disabilities. It was a heady time. There were only seven of us. We all had full-time jobs at the university. It really pushed us to come to some consensus, and that would be that we would use the resources that we have and the resources that we could acquire to provide the best in quality services, the best in training. If we're going to do research, let's do the best research we can do. Going from seven staff with $100,000 in funding to having 100 staff with over $9 million annual funding is phenomenal. Things have changed dramatically in 25 years. The ideas, though, that we're still working on, the same as in 1990, are to make sure that lives for people with disabilities are better. We're doing it on different scales, in different arenas. Quality lives for people with disabilities, that's remained the same. But the idea that there's a creative process here, and we have to take chances, we have to try. I couldn't ask for a better job. I couldn't ask for a better career. And really, every day I come to work saying, wow, I know I'm going to face a lot of challenges. I've got great people to work with. We may have happy little accidents along the way, but look what this beautiful painting is going to be. Look at the lives of people with disabilities. Look how that's going to come out. And I think that's what brings me to work every day. I just pinch myself every day saying how lucky am I am to be able to work with all of these people 